Hey everyone, Scott here to discuss The Devil's Backbone, starring Marisa Paredes, Eduardo Norigo, Federico Lupe, and Fernando Tiev, and directed by Guillermo del Toro. Now, I don't remember this movie coming out, but let's just get right into this. And before I get started, I don't really like to watch movies with subtitles that much. And I'll explain that at the end. The movie explains what the ghost is a fantastic way to begin your movie. We meet a boy who's our protagonist named Carlos, and I like that character because he has charm to this movie as the protagonist. When his tutor, Mr. Ayala, takes off without him, I felt pretty bad for him. We hear about this kid who died somewhat before Carlos arrived at the orphanage named Santi in which I believe is the ghost, but we won't find out until later in the movie, but the suspense of this movie is beyond fucking terrifying. Carlos goes into a mysterious place to see if someone is down there because he heard something down there earlier, which was a creepy scene. I do not like the kid that picks on Carlos as well as his gang at first. Just slingshooting his cup just so he can get into trouble I thought, what a bastard. When Carlos hits that kid, it served him right. Until Carlos decides to save him. Could have killed him there, but I'll give Carlo this. Carlos this. He's not a murderer. <clears throat> He's just a boy. They tell the story of the day the bomb crashed in that opening scene. A boy went missing, who I brought was Sam T. And... He's the ghost. If anyone would told me the if anyone would tell me that story, I would be absolutely fucking scared. Carlos talks to Santi about not killing himself and the other children, and Santi says, "Many of you will die in Spanish." I was like, "Oh shit, he's going to kill someone," and I was very scared at that point. The whole orphanage is leaving because of the ghost of Santi. And the guy who looks like fucking Eli Roth cares about the gold and burns up the whole damn orphanage and blows it up. And I'm thinking, like, what a fucking psycho. But the character that looks like Eli Roth was a pretty good antagonist. We find out at a point he killed Santi, which, why would he kill a little boy? That's just harsh. The doctor is dead for now. And now the Eli Roth look-alike guy brings two guys with him and wants to get the gold while the kids think of a way to fight off the Eli Roth looking guy. I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but I just keep calling him that. Until the doctor opens the door. It was actually a dead man cliche, but I still enjoyed it. So the group of boys kill off Eli Roth looking guy while Santi and it serves that son of a bitch right. And I was satisfied by that ending. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 8.2 out of 10. Don't get me wrong, this movie is scary. And some of the characters I like, but I usually don't like watching a movie with subtitles the whole time. But this movie is worth a watch. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me for The Devil's Backbone. And next week, I will be back with Pan's Labyrinth. The one I'm most curious about going, when I went back to Guillermo del Toro. Because that was one I only watched once and don't remember finishing all the way because I didn't really care for it at the time. But let's see if I'll survive it this time. Well, I'm going to have to, but let's see if I like it better than before. So please, whatever you do, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, watch some more videos, leave us a positive comment, and... All that jazz. And until next time, monsters are beautiful.